Welcome to the Landis Performance Channel. Today we're working on part two of the Vet Hawk build. Today we're going to get the leaf springs out of the car and we're going to take the shocks out and make dummy struts and put them where the shocks would normally be. This way we can set the ride height where we think it should be. All right, so I got the leaf spring out. I put the A-arms back on the uh, uprights, the spindle, and I put a set of wheels on there. I'll show you in a little bit. We call them the woofer wheels. They have a more positive or more negative backspace. They only have about a four inch backspace. So that's gonna be closer to the wheel we're gonna use to fit the wide body. Now to make the car sit where it's at now, I've got the uh, frame at four and a half inches. I'm going to take the old shocks, I'm going to push this bushing out through the press, and I'm going to find a piece of tubing that will slide over it, weld a piece of uh, tubing to that with a bolt on the top, and I'll go through the factory spring hole, and then we'll have some threads there. We'll be able to adjust the height and, and get it all set, and then we'll go to the back. All right, so we changed up things a little bit. Rather than pushing these out, I just went ahead and cut them off the off the shock that way I had a round sleeve and a piece of bolt on. So then I put this in the lower control arm, took tape measure, went through the hole on the frame to that, came up with 11 and 3 quarter inches. So I've taken a piece of square tube with a piece of all thread and making it overall 12 and a half inches. Now I'm going to weld these up and I'll give us uh, three and a half inches of movement so we can adjust the ride height however we want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld these up, we'll put it in the car, and then uh, move on to the back. So we'll go ahead and weld these up. All right, well there's the first look with it a little bit farther down. As you can see the back tires are bottomed out on the fender so I can't get it to full ride height to make the strut. And you'll notice if you look at the back versus the front, the body may be a tick forward on the, on the frame. So our next move will be to trim some of the rear wheel opening to get the car to the right ride height, make the dummy strut so the car is fixed at that height and then the next step is we have to get up to Harry's glass to pick up the front uh, front end the wide body kit the doors the hood and then we can mock up those things and see if the body needs to go back or if this is just where it's going to be and we'll move the wide body panels back to match the new wheelbase now factory wheelbase between these two cars is three eighths of an inch difference so more than likely, I just need to move the body back a little bit, maybe a half inch. But this is why we make up fixtures and test stuff before we make it permanent. So that's the new look of the car for now. All right, so we made it up to Harry's Glass and we pick up all the body work for the vet hub. So here's the official Harry's Glass plant they did an awesome job all the fiberglass came out great all right here's some of the background probably a lot of history a lot of really super nice race cars that have been built by harry's over the years it's kind of where they store all their extra molds It'd be a lot of storage to store all this stuff 
bunch of funny car bodies over there. It's like some pro mod stuff over here. Corvette, six, uh, Impala, Mustang. Some more funny cars. I'm sure these molds have made many NHRA and IHRA world champion cars. Another Corvette back there. A couple front ends. Corvette. The Camaro. Another Camaro over there. Even though these are outside, you can see that the inside, the mold part, is very good condition. And it's Impala. Another Camaro. Mustang, some other different front end early Camaros, second, third gens. Ah, these look like the molds that my, my car was made out of. 23 bucket. So, you need some race car parts. Harry's got the molds. All kinds of different, different bodies, roadster bodies. Some more couple Corvette, Mustang. Old T's, doors, front ends. You name it, they've built it. Another Corvette. Anyway. We're heading to uh, back home. See how our parts fit. So, Harry's glass plant. They did an awesome job. All the fiberglass came out great. And now we head back to Boynton Beach. All right. Here's all the parts from Harry's glass. Nose, hood, front fenders. Doors, rear quarter flares, and rear bumper cover. Well, I couldn't help myself. We had all the parts laying there, and I had to see them on the car. So I took uh, self-tapper screws and kind of pieced it together to see what it looked like. I believe it's going to be very awesome. Okay, we have the car in the shop now. I moved the body back about three quarters of an inch and I brought the nose of the car back a little bit. We're just trying to get the thing dialed in here. Looks really good with the Harry's glass body kit. And now we're going to go ahead and start mocking up the uh, engine transmission. Test fit seats, see how the height of the body is on the chassis. And keep working on mock-up till we get everything sorted out. All right, so we had the motor installed. Use hooker engine swap mounts for a stock Chevy small block position. And the LS fits in there real nice. In fact, Trailblazer SS intake fits under the cowl. And the 4L80 fits in nice. Well, I'm not going even use the... Uh, the ladder if I wanted to I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet or put a cross member in but we're uh, Just doing some math and figuring out where we're gonna be We're gonna have to cut the wheel openings You get the ride height. So there's our stenciled line for cutting the wheel openings for plasma and we did some measurements 
to get that seat into this car. And currently from the floor point to the roof of the car internally, we have 43 inches and with the seat at 37, of course the helmet with me sitting in it sticks out a little bit. So we're gonna drop the body down one inch. So we'll have uh, an interior height of 42 inches and an overall ride height just below 50 inches of the uh, complete car. So that's what we're working on now. There's a close up of the struts that we built. Basically the same thing in the back. So we're gonna get the wheel wells cut out and we're gonna lower the body one inch and then start building some supports to uh, hold the body up. All right, so we lowered the body an inch. We got the inner and outer wheel wells cut out, so now the Corvette suspension can be at ride height. And I want to start putting floors in, but we need to get all this bracing out of the inside of the car. So I went ahead and cleaned that section of the body off. There's all the mature that we removed. And now we'll put a one by one support underneath this ledge and tie it to the body and that will hold the back of the car up and hold it in position. We'll put some uh, screws in it to uh, ID the placement and that way we can cut all those supports out and when the body comes off and goes back on, if it moves around, we have 10 different holes that would be an alignment hole that would go ahead and line everything back up. So that's where we're at right now and We'll continue getting some of this stuff mocked up. All right, so we got the rear body sorted out. Built a frame to go across the back of the car. Triangulated the support bars. So now the body is sitting on the frame and located. So now we can take the body on and off and put it back to its alignment holes and everything should be aligned and squared. Got the motor in, got all the body work back on. With the rear wheel wells cut out, we can lower the car to the bump stops now without hitting the old sheet metal. So, coming along really good. So next step is to start building the floor supports. Now that the X braces are out of the inside, we can do that. So that will be our next step, so stay tuned. part two subscribe ring the bell get instant notification when we drop part three of the vet hawk project thanks for watching remember to share and like and leave comments on how the project is going along see ya